Hey guys, I'm Jane and I'm back with another video. I know this is a little different. Um, yeah, this is a little different, but it's all right. Um, this is just definitely going to be a video centered around encouragement. Um, you know, I'm just going to be a little transparent. Lately, I've been feeling a little confused, a little, um, I don't know where to look. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? Am I in the right place? Um, if you feel like you're confused, you're lost or anything, I want to let you know it's okay and that God is with you. Um, and I just want to encourage you because I believe this is a time where God is really shaping us to be who he's called us to be um and there's a lot of things that are in us and i'm not talking about just like how we deal with other people but in us in our um that affect things that affected our productivity that um just were counterproductive things that were working against us that are really that he's really trying to strip us of and it's been very painful it's been i've been experiencing a lot of like confusion or over i've been feeling overwhelmed and just like um just not sure what i'm supposed to be doing right now like just kind of going through the motions doing my own thing one time and the next one moment one morning i'll wake up and i feel great the next morning i'll wake up and i feel horrible and then it's it's been really tough but the thing is we're all still within this process and god is with us i just want to remind you god is with you and he's just stripping you of some things that were um counterproductive things that were working against your purpose he's doing some things within us that's going to help us accomplish our purpose in him he's changing the way we think what we see every day is a new day don't let tomorrow struggle struggles affect your today um god is granting us new graces grace and mercy each day so remember that there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Also remember all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Remember that he said he will never leave us or forsake us. He is with us through this. He is the lamp to our feet. So trust whatever it is you're experiencing. Don't worry. Cast your cares on him for he cares for you. He is with you and he is leading you. That is why this is painful. That is why it's hurting. That's why it's taking you to some places you've never experienced before. This is a new place, a, a new place of birthing, a new place of pruning. It's truly amazing. It's been hard. It's been rough. It's been, whew, it's been rough, but god's going to give you the answer he's going to show you what you need to do to change this he's doing some things that's really going to help you accomplish your purpose in him he's getting rid of all the old he's making us new we just gotta trust him trust him and trust him don't feel like don't feel like you're not where you're supposed to be because you're you are where you're supposed to be you're not off track you're, you're where you're supposed to be. Just continue to put your trust in him and put him first. Being honest with him. Be transparent with him. Tell him how you feel. Tell him that you're confused. Tell him you feel lost. Tell him you feel overwhelmed. Tell him you feel anxious. He will help because he helps his children. He's a father who truly cares about his children. He loves you. He loves you. And he's not going to let you fail. He's never set us up for failure before. He won't again. He won't now. If you feel like you're getting in the way, tell God that. Ask him to help you to move yourself out the way. That's my issue. My issue has been that I've been, my flesh has been my own worst enemy. My flesh will literally self-sabotage. My flesh, my feelings will literally get in the way. It would paralyze me. I would allow my mind to be tormented. But God is doing something different. Although these are the things that I've been dealing with, God is really showing me that I'm coming out and you are too. We're coming out. So God is amazing and he's about to do some miraculous things. You're about to see a new you, a, a you you don't even recognize. This is the authentic you, the one that God predestined before you were predestined. This, this is 
the, the, the real you is about to be revealed and God's going to do it. So all we have to do is yield to him, tell him how we feel, be transparent with him, love on him, read his word, pray. Don't condemn yourself when you mess up. God just wants his people who have a heart for him, not saying to mess up, <laughs> not saying to purposely mess up, just um, be repentant, really, you know, desire change. He just, he just wants us. That's it. He wants us. He don't want the extra stuff. We're not going to look like everyone else. We're not going to do it like everyone else. Our relationship with God is not going to be like everyone else. The only thing that's going to look similar is our fruit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will identify from person to person, but we're going to look different. We're going to sound different. We're going to have the same spirit within. So whatever God is leading you to do, whatever God wants you to do, do it. When he tells you to do it, do it. Even if no one else is doing it, speak when no one else is speaking. Stand when no one else is standing. Do what no one else is doing as, as long as it's led by God. He is with you. And I just want you to feel really encouraged because this is a tough time, especially with the coronavirus. It's a time of uh, where people are experiencing a lot of anxiety, but just know that we're okay you're okay you're going to be okay not just because you're going to be okay like you're going to be okay one thing god is he's the calm in the middle of a storm just tap into his peace he has a peace that surpasses all understanding you're coming out of this i'm gonna say it again you're coming out of this you are coming out of this better amen <sighs> Another thing I want to say is just let it all go. Let it go. Let go anything we thought we were supposed to have, supposed to do. Let it go and allow God to lead us. One thing I had to let go is my my own agenda. That's really hard for me to let go. But I had to let that thing go. I really did. Like God was like, just just let it go and let just just let it all go and ask God to reveal to you what you need to let go but he is with you he loves you I hope this helps somebody out there I really do hope this wasn't confusing but I pray that the Holy Spirit ministered to you because he's definitely ministering to me through this process this difficult process actually there's something else I want to say and speak life speak life god is teaching me he's been teaching me over the past month or so how powerful my words are um there's been some things i've been struggling to accomplish simply because i spoke negative things over it not because of everyone else but because of me so be careful don't say you're incompetent don't say you're incapable don't say you're tired don't say you you're come, you know, just say, I can do this with the strength of God. That he never sets me up for failure. Decree the word, put the word on it. So, yeah. Speak life, because the word does talk about life and death is in the power of the tongue. And it's true. We don't always need other people for things to go wrong. Sometimes it's us. Sometimes it's us. To speak life over your situation. You're going to do this. You're going to get through this. You're going to come out of this. And you're going to be different. Amen. So God is doing it. worry god is doing it he's never failed you he's never failed you before so why would he fail you now why 
he has no reason to fail us. He loves us too much. He sent his only son on the cross to die for our sins. He tore the veil so that we could have a relationship with him. We can come to him in prayer. We can come to him while we're folding our clothes, while we're laying in our bed, while we're on our knees crying out, while we're playing a game. We can come to him, talking to him like our friend. He's our friend. He's our teacher. He is our protector. He is our provider. He is our reviver. He is our restorer. He wars on our behalf. He is everything. He is the beginning and the end. He is the most high God. He is the alpha and the omega. He's everything. Everything. And he sent his Holy Spirit to guide us and to comfort us. So lean not on your own understanding. Okay? Just trust in him in all your ways. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will, he will do it would do it so again speak life trust in the lord this is just a part of the process you're gonna come out better than you've ever been before a new creature amen so i hope you guys are really i really hope this helps you it's really helping me like i said this has been really rough for me not the coronavirus but some other things the coronavirus i don't i don't know if it's been a part a part of what i've been going through i don't think so but i don't know i don't know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i don't have to fully understand everything that's you know but um it's been just a lot for me like i've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff and um god's he's just oh my gosh i can finally see some of what he's doing and i'm learning that i don't have to understand all that he's doing just trust <laughs> i want to those people i want to know everything i want to know every part i want to know every step i want to know everything i want to know what it's going to look like i need a guarantee i need a guarantee i'm the person whatever i get i get warranties because i need to know that this is going to last me for like ever it's funny because the other day i bought a ps4 um <laughs> bought a ps4 and my brother's like you don't need the warranty the ps5 is coming out and i'm like but the warranty's for three years like if i drop it he's like you think you're gonna drop it i'm like no i don't think i'm gonna drop it because really honestly i think it's gonna stay in one place you know but i need i'm usually that person i need a guarantee i need something i need to know that if this happens this is covered if this happens this is covered if this happens and i need to understand every i need to understand everything but you know what with God, he is the guarantee. His word says it. His word says that he loves us. His word says that his plans are to prosper us. He's not here to harm us. His word says that he's leading us. That's our guarantee. God is our guarantee. So we don't need to know everything in the middle. All we need to know is that we have that guarantee. We have the warranty. We have salvation. We have the Holy Spirit. We have grace. We have mercy. That's all. We don't. He is our guarantee just remind yourself that remind yourself that he is our guarantee amen so trust in god i hope this helps someone so yes amen i just want to say a quick word of prayer dear heavenly father lord oh god we thank you oh god for who you are we thank you oh god for your peace that surpasses all understanding oh god we thank you for your unfailing agape love lord oh god we ask that in this time oh god that you help each and one of your children oh god get whatever they need out of this process oh god oh god speak to each and every one of us oh god whatever you want us whatever you want us to receive oh god speak into our hearts oh god and write your word on the tablets of our hearts oh god speak to us through our study time through your word oh god speak to us oh god so that we know where to go oh god we just we're just seeking you in this hour oh god we want you more than we've ever wanted you before we need you more than we've ever needed you before oh god so help us oh god strip us of anything that's unlike you oh god but continue oh god to shape and mold us to be the people of god you've called us to be oh god continue to give us more of your love oh god more of your peace oh god help us to produce more of your fruit oh god show us our purpose in you in this hour oh god show us where we need to go 
uh, for you in this hour, oh God, who we need to talk to, oh God, what we need to say, oh God. Show us, oh God, what our purpose and ministry is, oh God. Help us in this hour, oh God. Make it clear to us, oh God. And give us strength, oh God. Give us strength through the process, oh God. Give us the strength, oh God. May your joy be our strength, oh God. Oh God, you can we can do all things through you because you're strengthening us, oh God. And let no weapon that is formed against us prosper, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, give us healing, give us peace, healing of the mind, oh God. Transform us by the renewing of the mind, oh God. So we thank you, oh God, and we invite you into our heart, oh God, in our minds, oh God, to do a miraculous thing, oh God. Oh God, we're here, oh God, to be used for your glory, oh God. We're here as willing vessels, oh God. We're here offering ourselves as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing unto you, oh God. Change us, oh God, for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we trust in you, oh God, and we know, oh God, that your plans are perfect, your timing's perfect, you are perfect, oh God, and your plan is to prosper us, and all things work together for our good, so we thank you, Lord Jesus, and we praise you, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray and say thanks, and amen, hallelujah, Lord. So, that's all I have for you, and I hope this helped you, and yeah, amen, bye guys.